Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel, Murrayed Life. I have a fun Goodwill outlet haul. If you're new here, the Goodwill outlet is the pay by the pound thrift store. I got 32 items for just 35 bucks. I have several pieces that I'm gonna be able to make a profit of over $50. So grab a drink and let's get into the haul. So the first piece is an item I pick up every single time I see it at the bins and it is Columbia. So, Columbia is a brand that sometimes I really don't pick up at the traditional retail stores. My stores at least kind of price it up, but at the bins I always pick it up because Columbia sells. I love to pick up the bigger sizes. This is a 2X green men's fleece. Full zip, is it a full zip? Okay, yeah, it's a full zip jacket. I should be able to get at least $35 for this. I just recently sold one, so I was super excited to find this at the bins, and it's in great condition. If I would have saw this item at my traditional thrift store, you can bet I most definitely would have purchased it. Let me show you. This is a starter, I'll show you the tag. This is a starter two piece LSU. Uh, like a windbreaker, like tracksuit. So here's the top, and you can see it says LSU there. And then it also has uh, the matching pants. And then also on the jacket, it has another LSU emblem there. So I love to pick up LSU stuff whenever I see it at the thrift store. All of my LSU stuff sells. And this piece looks super special, especially since it's a starter piece. I feel like I want to price this high, y'all. I think I'm going to try to price this at $50. I haven't looked up to see how many other ones there are. I feel like there's not a lot of LSU, like, two-piece tracksuits out there. This is a size small, um, so I don't know. I, I'm thinking $50. Let me know in the comments. What do you think? What would you price this at? I don't know. Once I look it up, it may even go for more. But anyway, I was super excited to find this starter two-piece tracksuit. I think it's going to do great. This next brand I am kind of picky with. It's Eileen Fisher, and this is a 100% silk purple tank top. And honestly, y'all, this is probably only going to get me about $20. Eileen Fisher does make some really nice pieces. I really love to pick up her linen pieces, like her linen pants, for example. I just sold some for about $40 uh, just a couple weeks ago. This top, uh, even though it's silk, it's kind of plain, so I probably am just going to list this around $20. But Eileen Fisher does sell pretty well for me, so I definitely scooped it up whenever I saw it at the bins. It is a size large. If it was a smaller size, I may have thought about it a little bit more, but I'm pretty confident this will sell. So if you've been watching my thrift hauls recently, you know I've been picking up linen, linen, and more linen. So I found this Talbot's. Uh, white long sleeve linen piece. There is a small hole um, right there. It's really not that bad and I've sold linen cardigans with holes in them before. No big deal. They still sell. I'm not sure what I'm going to price this at uh, but I really liked it because of the length. It's super long, and it also has these slits right there down the side. So, yes, I don't pick up Talbots a lot, but I really pay attention to the material quality, um, and I like to feel with my hands at the bins. Let me know in the comments. If you go to the bins, do you put on gloves? I don't because I like to feel like this linen, this silk over here. That's just what I like to feel personally. That's why I choose not to wear gloves. But, yeah, I'm pretty confident this will sell quick. So as soon as I walked in the store, this was the first thing that I found. I saw the bottom leg sticking out of the bin, and I was like, oh my gosh, these are like some hippie bell bottoms, right? And I don't know if this is how they were originally made, or maybe if someone like stitched it up. I don't know. But then I pulled it out, and... um is it Kato's? I'm not really sure. I don't pick up this brand. I see it all the time at the thrift store, but the brand didn't really matter to me. What mattered to me was that it was a fun bell-bottom flare jean. Those are selling great, and this is a size 22, and I feel like that size probably doesn't have a good selection of fun. Oh, and it's distress. It has some distressing on it, but yeah, I just felt like, you know what? I think that's a great size to pick these up in, yeah, really, really big flare there. So I'm probably going to start these around $35 and just see how they do. So there were a couple cashmere pieces that rolled out. One of the coats 
it had a little too many flaws for me personally, but this one's not too bad. So this is a 100% cashmere coat and it's in this beautiful cream color and the fur is detachable. So if you don't want to wear the fur, you don't have to. Um, and it's lined and there's really no staining in the lining. The only part and probably a good soak would just get this out. There's just a couple little marks right here. Um, it is vintage. It is cashmere. So, you know, you're kind of expecting to see some kind of flaw from the age. It has a little bit of buttons down there. Anyway, I just thought because of the fabric content, this would be a really fun thing to add to my closet. I don't buy a lot of vintage, but because I'm at the bin store, I like to try things out because it's so cheap. Everything's so cheap. I only paid like a dollar per piece. So even if I can only get like 20 or 25 bucks, I think I'd be happy. I really like to sell Nike and I also like to sell cycling gear. And I'm pretty sure this looks just like a cycling shirt to me. It has the little like pockets in the back of the shirt, but this is called the Nike Sphere Dry size large. And it's just a long sleeve and it has a ton of venting as you can see or maybe not see on camera. Um, and it is a full zip. So I just thought blue and gray, that really thin cooling material, I think someone is going to love this for the summertime. So I love selling Nike. I think everything Nike that I've ever picked up has sold. I can't think of any Nike that's just sitting for me. So definitely grab this for a buck. I love to sell this brand. Uh, they make a lot of plus size clothing, women's clothing, and it's Torrid. And this is a size four or like a four X. And it's a sleeveless, really pretty floral top. And it has like a little bit of a peplum at the bottom. So, um, Torrid tops usually get between 20 and 30 bucks for me. So that's what I'm aiming for there. But this was super thin, so I definitely threw that in my buggy. There was so much Old Navy. Literally, y'all, I pulled out, I think, close to seven or eight pairs of Old Navy denim, all in a size 16 and 14. So I think I only picked two pairs out, the best pairs, and you'll see. So I pulled out the Rockstar. The Old Navy Rockstar, I feel like those sell the best. And these are corduroy. So these are a pair of white corduroy pants. I put them in the light and I couldn't see any flaws on them. Maybe I'll go back on the footage and see if I see any. They are like a skinny leg. And yeah, I think white pants are about to sell really well for uh, spring and summer. And I keep hearing corduroy is in. I don't know if that's true, but I really liked these. So I'm hoping I can get at least 25 or 30 for these. I love to sell fishing gear, just like the Columbia brand. I also like to pick up this brand. It's Magellan. And I believe this is a size large or extra large. And it's just a white top and it has the venting right here in the back. My husband may end up keeping this, so I don't know if I'm going to list it right away. I'm going to wait to see if he wants to keep it. Uh, but something like this, you can easily get like 20 bucks for Magellan Columbia, all these like outdoors fishing shirts with all these pockets and stuff. They've always sold really well for me. So if you can find this stuff cheap, definitely pick it up. There were quite a few new with tags items and this is one of them and this is something I've sold before. Uh, it's just Old Navy and it has the tag right here. But the Old Navy plaid like flannel shirts, they do really well. Uh, this is a size extra large and black and gray. I think I can easily get 20 bucks for this, so I decided to go ahead and grab it. Here's a pair of Nike leggings with the animal print, and I just think these are so cute. They're a size small, and they are cropped, and they have a little bit of blue in there, I think. Blue or gray? Maybe blue. It's kind of hard to tell, but anyway, I just think these are super Super cute. I'm going to ask a little bit more for these. Um, I'm probably going to shoot closer to 25. So if you saw the thumbnail for this video, then you saw these hats in the thumbnail. So if you saw my recent what sold video, I sold that last hat for $50 and I said I'm going to definitely be looking at hats more. And I have been and I definitely hit the jackpot at the bins. Whenever they were doing a rotation, they brought out a bin with a ton of like ties and belts and like small things. It was like a hodgepodge, right? But I found a Christian Dior tie. I guess I'll show you that real quick. 
I found this tie and it's a nice tie. Usually I don't pick up Christian Dior ties, but this tie here, it actually said Dior on the actual tag. So I was like, you know what? There may be better stuff in here if I found a Dior tie. And I was right. Everyone left the bin, but I kept digging and I found these hats. So here's the first one. And I'm definitely going to have to soak this because I don't know if you can tell on camera, but there is a lot of yellowing and definitely some um, like sweat stains on the inside. Uh, this is from The Twill. And this hat easily should get me $50. So I don't really know much about sports. I don't know much about hats. So it's kind of hilarious that I'm finding these really expensive hats at different places, but I'm just looking stuff up. I'm really just looking on the inside and seeing if they have like a paper tag and then throwing them in my buggy and seeing if they're worth anything. But yeah, this Boston hat, definitely worth some money. Okay, so I saw this hat. This is an Atlanta Braves hat. I had no idea. Look, no shame in my game. I'm not afraid to say it. I had no idea what this A stood for. I was like, A. I was like, I, it looked kind of like the at symbol to me. Anyway, y'all, I didn't even know until I started looking at it like the second or third time that it said Braves on the back. But look, this is what I was excited to see. You see that? You see how it says that American Needle? These are the hats that I was talking about in my What Sold video. If you haven't seen that video, I'll link it above. But this is the brand that sells very, very well. I saw, or I saw several hats go for like, I think $50 to $70 on eBay, the same kind of hat with the um, American Needle tag inside. So I'll show you all again. This is definitely something you want to be looking for if you're looking at hats. Um, and then I found a Ferrari hat. Uh, this one's probably closer to a $35 hat, uh, but it is vintage. I'll show you the back, and then I'll show you the tag inside. And y'all, all this stuff, it probably give me a few days to list this stuff. I'm going to kind of take a break on listing for just a day or two. There's the inside tag. So yeah, an easy 35 right here. I was just really excited to find some hats and to try more things out. It's always worth it for a buck at the bins to try something new out. I did get a couple more hats. They're just not worth as much money. So I found myself a hat. It's just a pink, like Nike dry fit hat. I like that dry fit material back there. I've been looking for a hat for a while and I just don't like anything I see at the thrift store, but I really liked this pink, so I'm glad I found that. And then, y'all, I see this brand all the time, and I never pick it up, but I keep hearing more and more people on YouTube and their thrift hauls talking about it. It's Carhartt, and this is a really nice cap. Like, I didn't really see any staining on it, nothing really bad. And it's like really warm inside. Yeah, it's lined on the inside. It's really, really soft. So I think this would be a great hat for the winter time. But yeah, never pick up Carhartt. So I decided, you know what? This is a nice hat. I'm going to give it a shot. I did get a Christmas item um, just because I know it'll sell. It's a Crimson Tide Alabama Roll Tide. Christmas stocking. So I'm not sure how much I'm going to list this for. $15 ish, but pretty confident this will sell because, you know, those are all Tide fans. Let's jump into some shoes before we go back into clothing. So I did a thrift with me one day and I passed up this brand a lot. And a couple of people uh, in the comments were like, do you not pick up that brand? Whatever. Like, why'd you pass that up? Um, and I finally found a pair that I really liked at the bins. I have not seen any like really bad flaws on these. I was kind of worried about getting them because they're kind of heavy. These are Timberland boots and they're women's boots. And I really, I just liked the style. Uh, they have a little bit of a heel, they're leather, they have the zip on that side. And yeah, they're in really good condition. I think they're a size nine. Here's the Timberland logo if you've never seen it. There was actually maybe three or four Timberlands there, 
But like I said, I wasn't really crazy about them. There was a, actually an identical pair to this in brown, but the leather was really scratched up. And we all know Alicia don't like to clean shoes. So I decided, you know what, I'm going to give these a shot. I did look up sold comps, and several were going for 35 and 40 So I'm glad I picked them up. As much as I love to sell Torrid clothes, I have never sold shoes by Torrid. So you can see right there, these are Torrid, and they're just a brown closed toe ballet flat, uh, but they honestly look in, y'all, like brand new condition. I don't know if they've ever been worn. They're size 8, super clean on the inside. So I haven't looked up comps, but most of my toward goes for 20 to 30, so I'm hoping to get at least 20 or 25 for these. Just thought they were really cute. Okay, these were the last pair of shoes I got. These are Fly Flot. And um, Fly Flot, I just found a red pair very, very similar to this. They're like a comfort shoe. And I think the ones I just got, I listed for 32 bucks. So that's probably what I'm going to list these at. Yeah, they're just a simple comfort shoe. They're black with a small little heel. And these look like they're in really good condition. Maybe only worn a couple times. So I'm excited to list these. Okay, back to clothes. Here's a brand that I, I don't think I've picked up this brand maybe ever. Every time I find this brand, I'm never into it. I guess I just don't find great pieces. It's Cabby. These are really small size, but I really liked the color and they're corduroys. And yeah, I just thought they were really cute. I didn't see any flaws on them. Um, let me know in the comments, do you pick up Cabby? I don't even know if this is the new tag or not. I know I always hear people on the thrift hauls, they're like, this is the new tag or this is the old tag. I have no idea. But I just thought these were really cute. And they're kind of like mid-rise. They're not high-rise. They seem to be kind of mid-rise. But I just really liked the color. And so, yeah, I'm really excited to finally try out Cabby. This is just a simple Friends crop top. But I think this crop top's going to sell really well because I think people really like, like the Friends fans, I feel like they really like the merchandise. And I think the selling point is the faces. What do you think? I think it's really cute. So I don't really pick up Talbots a lot. You saw me show that linen white cardigan. But I also found another piece that I kind of fell in love with. And I've never heard of this. It's T by Talbots. I'm not sure if this is a golf line. I'm not sure. But it's just a white skirt and it has these zippers pockets on the front. And it's in really good condition. I was surprised. I picked up several white pieces without like stains on them. So that was kind of shocking. Um, yeah, I don't know really how much to get for this, but it's a really thick quality. And so I think it'll do really well. I'm excited to try this out. Maybe I'll start picking up Talbots after this thrift haul. I got some Banana Republic shorts, and these are in a size 2. And if I just saw these on the hanger, I probably would have just, like, walked right past them. But at the bins, I'm, like, digging and actually touching everything. And as soon as I felt these, I was like, oh, these are linen. Yeah, they're 100% linen. Blue shorts. Um... These are Banana Republic Factory, but because they're linen, I'm hoping I can get at least 25 bucks for them, which I'll pick these up. Here's the other old navy pants that I got, and these are brand new with the tag. And again, you can see here it's the Rock Star. And these are a pink corduroy. So I think these are absolutely adorable. And these are in a size, yeah, these are in a size 16. Everything I found was either 16 or 14. Super, super cute. I cannot wait to get these listed. I don't know. I wonder if these will sell. I keep hearing people say like corduroys on trend, but doesn't that feel kind of hot for the summertime? I don't know. I'm, I'm just kind of curious if these will sell now or closer to the fall. So Ann Taylor Loft is definitely a brand I pass on the majority of the time, unless it's at the bins or unless it's at my animal shelter's bag sale. But I really liked these, y'all. These are just a blue pant, but look at the hem. I really thought these were different and interesting. So yeah, I'm really excited to try these out. I think I can get easily 30 bucks for them, maybe even more. 
I just think they're really cute and I absolutely love the color. And these are a size 10, so I thought those were adorable. So I got a golf skirt and I thought this one was really cute. It's blue and white pinstripes, really thin little pinstripes. And it's by this brand EP. And whenever you look up the sold comps for this brand, the plainer styles with like just one color, they sell for about 20 bucks. But then the pinstripes and other fun patterns, they were selling closer to 30 or even 35, 40 bucks. I'm going to price mine around $30 because I just think it's really, really cute. I really liked this skirt. I found a new with tag bra and this is by the brand Soma. And I'll show you the tag right here. Uh, the original uh, price was $44. And I've sold Soma before. I'm probably going to price this closer to $25, maybe $20. Bucks. I'll have to check comps and see what it's looking like. Uh, but anytime I see new bras, I definitely pick them up. Victoria's Secrets bras do so well, especially in the larger sizes. So even though I'm not super crazy about the print, I did still pick this up. This is a size 36 double D and it is lined and padded. The inside of the bra looks really clean. So I think a lot of these honestly were just like raw donations. Uh, my friend that goes to the bins almost every day, she said a lot of stuff that's going to the outlet right now in our area. My bins is in Mobile, Alabama. She said a lot of it is raw donations. So anyway, yeah, I think someone's going to love this and I'll probably price this closer to 25. Okay. Last item is a new to me brand. Let me know if you've ever heard of it. Mandala. Have you ever heard of that? It's a scrub brand and I got it because it was new with tags and it's a size 2X. So I think both of those things are going to sell it. And yeah, just a pair of really cute, and they're like a jogger style. I think that's cute. Jogger style scrub pants. So let me know if you've ever sold this. I'm not sure what these go for, but I'm sure new with tag scrubs, easily 20 bucks, right? Okay, y'all, that was my Goodwill Ben's haul. I've been kind of thinking about my sourcing opportunities where I live. And for 35 bucks, I got a lot more than what I can get at my traditional thrift stores down here. So I'm thinking about making a trip to the bins once a week now. Let me know if you would be up for that. The bins isn't super close to me. It took about two hours in total for me to drive this day. Um, so it does take a little bit extra time to get there, but maybe if I can convince some of my girlfriends to go with me, it'll make the trip worth it. So let me know in the comments what your favorite item was in my haul. To be honest, I know the hats are worth a lot of money, but I love that. Look at this. Look at the tiger. I love this LSU windbreaker. I think it's absolutely adorable. Look at that. I feel like I didn't show this enough. Let's look at it again. Look at that. Just beautiful. All right, y'all. Make sure to hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. I do put out content very frequently here on my channel, Murrayed Life. Hit that thumbs up button and I'll see y'all in just a couple days for a fun new video. Bye y'all.